Bonjour everyone, Jill Anderson here from Red Lake Comprehensive Health. So today my message is going to be a little different format. It includes a story and I even have props, so stick around. Isolation and quarantine, how in the world do we keep all of this straight? Well, this is where I'm hoping my storytelling skills will help, so I'll get right to it. So let's say Saturday night, I decide to get together with some of my buddies that I used to play cards with. We were all feeling fine, no one was sick, poker sounded like fun, so we all decided to meet at my friend Jane's house. We sat around the kitchen table, had some chips and salsa, put the coffee on, shared some funny stories, played a few rounds of Texas Hold'em, no harm, no foul. Sunday night, I went to bed early, and then Monday morning I woke up and I had a fever of 101. I called the clinic talked to the nurse. She had me put on with the doctor and he asked that I go through the drive through testing for COVID. A few hours later, I got the call that my test was positive. Huh, now what do I do? So just to keep this timeline straight, Saturday was the night we decided to play poker. Sunday I went to bed, Monday morning I started feeling sick, got the call that my test was positive. So what they told me when I went to the testing trailer and then they called me back, they said I needed to isolate for 14 days and that I would be contacted by the contact tracing team. So basically what that meant was I needed to stay at home in my room. My sister who lives with me, she was able to bring me my meals in my room as long as we both had a mask on. If I used the bathroom or went outside of my room for any reason, she would wipe down everything behind me, door handles, faucets, whatever, with the Clorox bleach wipes. She also put a sign on our door that said no visitors so people didn't accidentally come into the house while I was there. I got a call from the contact tracing team. They had more questions for me and they wanted to know everyone that I had been around since Saturday. So my symptoms started Monday. The day I was considered contagious was Saturday and Sunday. So that included um, everyone I had been playing poker with because this had to be a close contact. I had to be around them for at least a half an hour and within six feet of distance. My pokey poker buddies and I had all been touching cards, sitting at the same table, taking turns with the salsa, and pouring coffee. Now my sister, she was home over the weekend also. Again, we live together and we share a bedroom, so she was included as a quarantine. So we have Jane in quarantine, my poker buddy, and my sister. We're all in quarantine. So Monday night, I reached out to some of my friends to see what they were hearing, what they were feeling, found out that they had to quarantine for two weeks. They were contacted by the contact tracing team. The reason for this was they might already have the virus or be contagious because they were around me. And this virus can incubate in you for up to two weeks. So now we're all stuck at home to try to keep us from possibly getting anyone else sick. Tuesday, my neighbor calls, freaking out. She was with my sister on Saturday night while I was playing poker. She wasn't with me, but they had gone to Bemidji to go get some groceries, and she heard from someone that she was supposed to quarantine too. I explained to her that only the people that had direct contact with me over the weekend had to quarantine. So she was super relieved. She agreed to go get groceries for us and help take our garbage for us. As long as she left them on the front porch, everything was gonna be good. So that was nice to know. Now, I also got a call from the guy that was at our place fixing our toilet last Wednesday. So this would have been, if I was contagious Saturday and Sunday and we, I had my positive test on Monday, he was here the week before on Wednesday to fix my toilet. I was at home, he wasn't there while I was considered contagious. So I told him, no, you don't have to quarantine, everything's fine. I talked more to my friend Jane and her family was a little concerned because I was at their house. They were fine too because they weren't home Saturday night when I was there. I had left her, her house a few hours before they got back from time they were spending in Bemidji shopping. Now, let's change this up a little bit. Let's say that tomorrow Jane starts coughing and has a fever of 100.5. So this is Wednesday that Jane starts feeling sick. She calls the COVID hotline that the tracing team gave her and they have her go in and get tested because she's got symptoms and she tests positive. So now they want to know Jane's direct contacts from two days before she had symptoms because these people are going to have to quarantine. Now, because of me, Jane was already in quarantine. But now her husband and her kids who still live with her, 
Now they all have to quarantine. But these are the only people. Because she was staying at home, she was with her husband and kids, but no one else was coming by. So they were the only people in her circle for the two days before she tested positive. Luckily, the lady that she works with, they share a desk. Usually they don't wear their mask at work because they get hot and uncomfortable. But because Jane was quarantined, she wasn't going into the office, so her coworker's in the clear. So she doesn't need to quarantine. Hopefully this story and my dolls helped a little bit. I posted a pictogram that I put together on Facebook. So it's available there to look at as a reference on several of the tribal sites. And again, if you aren't sure what you're hearing is fact or fiction, just call the nurse hotline at 679-3912 and we'll talk you through it. Miigwetch and stay the course, everyone.